so last thing I'm going to show is uh, is how to convert RDC reports. Uh, so let me just go to to one of the uh, uh, RDC reports in the standard applications. Um, so if you worked with uh, RDC reports, you know that all these document reports they more or less look the same. Uh, so I go to the layout of of this RDC report and open a report builder. Uh, you will see that uh, how this looks like. Um, so in RDC reports, uh, at least the uh, most of the document ones, uh, you cannot see which fields is which in the header, because these are, uh, are references to a hidden field somewhere in report. Uh, so it's it's very hard to see where which one is the fax number and which one is the comp uh, with the customer's uh, phone number. And you need to be skilled in order to look up these or even add, add more of, of these in here. Uh, so that's what the problem with the RDC reports. The other one is that uh, even though it's really nice to have these tables in here, uh, it's really hard to, to figure out uh, when these uh, lines in the, the table is written out. Uh, and you also don't know which data item these are related to unless you uh, are really an expert in, in this report. Um, and on top of that, to add, add new new lines and rows uh, in, in in this uh, in this table also can be really cumbersome. Um, so what we did is that we created again a converter just like we have for the classic report. Uh, and let me just close this down. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to to open the the text file with this from the designer. Uh, uh, so I've taken the RDC report and exported it into a text file, uh, just like I had it before. And uh, you'll see if I open this uh, in Designer, uh, we have been able to convert all these expression fields into uh, to normal column names. So you see all the standard columns in here, and suddenly you can see what you you're dealing with. Uh, you can also see all the uh, table. Uh, t uh, table rows in uh, RDC, we had transformed that into a normal uh, classic NV sections, uh, and even the uh, the uh, Visual Basic logic, we have uh, been able to include that uh, as expressions in here. Uh, so all your code from the uh, uh, RDC report is also included in, in, uh, in the FNAF report. Uh, we have just converted into uh, to JavaScript. Uh, on the fly to enable you to edit the uh, expressions you, you had in, in, uh, in RDLC. Um, and in this case, again, the, this report just runs out of the box. There might be uh, something that you need extra work because we don't support all the uh, JavaScript functions, or oh, sorry, the uh, VBScript function from, uh, um, from RDLC. Uh, there's some constructs that we don't support, uh, but it's fairly easy to go in and clean them up and get your uh, RDC report to, to work also in FNAF, uh, and, and again, you can uh, from from there on go and make changes to the report, or, or you can have end users uh, do the modifications, uh, because again, you have the field lists over here uh, with all the data items, and it's it's really easy to, to drag the uh, different fields on the, your design surface to, to use them. Um, so this was a really quick uh, tour into uh, the world of FNAF. FNAF is here to help you with reports. We're ready to talk. Are you?